new journey to overcome the feeling of feeling stuck in your old ways. That is robbing you from your joy that has been passed on to you by your generations before you. We're going to reconnect with the divine light within you that will lead you to a new flow of abundance. I'm asking the guides, the spirit guides, archangels, gatekeepers, the spirit animals, power animals, dragon guides, Odin to assist us here in this guided meditation, the shamanic journey, to open up a portal, a vortex of protection, guidance and support. Connected to all four elements of the earth, the water, the air and fire. Let's begin by taking a deep breath in. Breathe in through the nose, into the forehead, make sure your eyes are closed. Breathe in into the third eye, open up the third eye. Breathe into the throat, further down into the heart, breathe into the heart, the center. Your own inner central sun that exists within you, within the heart chakra. Breathe into the solar plexus, the sun. Of the raging fire of personal empowerment. Envision how the sun is located within your solar plexus. Breathe in further into the sacral, the roots, bring in the energy of Mars, of dominance, masculine, groundingness that we need for this journey, having a strong sense of belonging. Breathe in into the earth chakra centered below your feet and let's connect with the earth. How we are standing on the earth, bringing in this cosmic awareness existing within us. Breathe in. And as you envision how the central sun, the center of the Milky Way galaxy, is located within the heart, as that will be your center point for today, realize that through the upper energy centers, located above the head from the crown, moving upwards, We can therefore also connect with surrounding galaxies. Andromeda. That's the amount of energy that exists within our center. Now let's bring this energy back into the heart, further down through our own solar system, through the sun, located within our solar plex. Bring in the energy of Mars, energy of Neptune within our third eye. And 
and it's the energy of the earth located down below our feet. And as we're connecting with the nine different dimensions existing within our tree of life located within our nervous system. This nervous system has the shape of the world tree. We are facing an energy that will keep us stuck in our old ways. Stubborn. Let's envision how we are all by ourselves in the wilderness of the Scottish Highlands. Facing absolutely outrageous weather, storm, thunder, hail on a cold late autumn day. No more than five degrees, yet the wind feels much colder. Previously, we have faced the wild ox, the urus, straight into his eyes. The ox is not present with us today. We might overlook the valleys as we are standing on top of a hill looking for the ox. is walking against the storm. His head is walking straight into the storm. His ways are his way of facing challenge. For us, the only thing we can do is do the exact same thing. That's exactly what you have been doing all this time. Feeling stuck in your old ways. So imagine how you want to chase down the Eurus, the wild ox, an ancient giant beast, mythology beast. Because of his slow ways, his pure strength and endurance has the ability to walk straight into the storm. Because of his strength, he will be closer to reach the center of the storm than to walk away from it and the storm keeps chasing him. So let's do that. Let's continue walking straight into the storm. We have thunderclouds, we have hail pouring down on us. We can't see anything by only a few meters ahead of us. But we must trust this process it's to bring up our strength to keep going. We are tapping into a primal energy that exists within us. A stubborn energy of resilience. 
using the brute force to move up hills, walk over mountain tops and cliffs, facing this brutal weather. With a knowing that if you keep going, you can start to see how clouds are breaking up in the distance. That's what you're heading into. A new dawn is breaking up as you have been traversing the Scottish Highlands for all these nights in the darkness. Rain, hail, thunder, storm. A new dawn is arising on the horizon. Sun rays are breaking through the clouds. That's where you're heading. Dawn. Because all this time, even when feeling stuck in your old ways, having the resistance to change, you have a light within. This light within is like sun rays, like sun rays breaking through the clouds. An intuition that you know this is what you must do, using your brute force to break through any kind of barrier. Stay connected with this light within. As now you can slowly start to feel that this new dawn, this new sun rays, rays of lights and are slowly warming up coming down on your forehead it's warming you up it's helping you to dry up your clothes as your clothes were absolutely soaked As we keep going, just remember that this pleasant moment will never last because of your stubborn, wise and the resistance to change. But yet, you continue to walk the whole morning underneath the rays of light until you come across a river. continue to walk down this river upstream until you come across a little cabin located next to this river and what you see is an old lady minding her own business, doing her work around her cabin. This old lady, it's, it gives you the feeling of a hack. A witch has separated herself from society.
living on the outskirts in solitude. And as you approach her, you can start to feel like a chilly feeling coming down over your spine. But yet, this is what you must face. Otherwise you keep stuck in your old ways and the resistance to change. And it almost looks like that this old lady has mastered the art of using spells. It's to create patterns that stays invisible to our conscious mind. But at the same time, you also somewhat feel related to her. Like she is part of something very ancient. A part of a soul tribe connected to your heritage. Maybe hundreds of years ago, she has created a spell within your family line that has robbed you from experiencing joy, of keeping you stuck in survival, poverty based consciousness doing things in isolation, experiencing low self-esteem, unworthiness, unless you work yourself to death, burning yourself out with stress, anxiety, only wanting to prove your worth through accomplishments, wanting to be seen, if to yourself. You have been keep looking at for the wrong reasons outside of yourself. This could be one of the spells he has carried over. And if you step up, work hard, try to make a better life for yourself, and maybe you have and have been able to do it, only giving you more shame and guilt for wanting to profit off of others. Struggle to see how you could provide solutions to others, make contributions and create a healthy balance between giving and receiving. There's something very karmic to it. Because perhaps family member within generations back has done something in an abusive way to steal, to corrupt, to kill, to murder, to rape in order to get ahead.
just has been stuck in the unseen within the collective consciousness of your family generations which has been passed over through the DNA now stored within you and now you bring this awareness to the surface of the darker aspects of your family generation to bring awareness to that accept it for what it is Embrace it, understand it, feel a sense of compassion within your heart as coming in from a higher divine creative force energy from the central sun. This is what we must feel within the heart to transform it through compassion through compassion we can forgive ourselves and we can forgive our ancestors and through forgiveness we can ask the hack or the witch to undo the spell Which is creating a little ceremony. She's getting some herbs which she has dried outside of her cabin. She's mashing these herbs to create a paste. She's bringing this paste on top of your forehead. Which will help you to see a different vision for yourself. How your intuition has blocked because of this spell. So it will open up your third eye to new dimensions, new states of awareness that you have not been able to perceive yet. She's giving you an herbal tea. Trying to pro trust the process, you drink it. You feel a very strong sensation how this hot tea is going down your throat. It feels like spicy coming down your throat, but yet at the same time, it is healing your throat of how you have not been able to express yourself in an authentic way. It's coming down into your stomach. And well, have it has done so. It is also cleansing the heart of sorrow and misery. And this intense sensation is also going down through the solar plexus, the sacral, down the root as you will continue to root yourself further in your own essence. You could even start to feel 
how your nervous system, the shape of a tree, is grounding itself, is continuing to grow his roots even further, deeper down into the earth. Feeling a very grounded sensation, a deeper connection within yourself, a new stability. It will bring your worth and self-esteem to a natural state of being, like you are already completed and good enough, without the need to prove yourself. You continue down your path, upstream, but as you're trying to do the normal thing as you always have done, going upstream, you have changed your mind. You decided to go downstream, because upstream is leading into the mountains into rough climates, cold winter. Which was always very familiar to you. So you changed your mind, you go downstream. You enjoy the water, it's the sound of the water, this, this stream. It gives you a new feeling of Peace, tranquility, clarity. You feel somewhat connected with the nature, the elements. And as you continue further downstream, you have enjoyed the walk for hours and hours. As you stumble upon a little village, various cabins, a peaceful village where farmers are farming, merchants are selling fish, sheep, chickens. And it seems to be quite a bit of a, a central hub for traders. Traders coming from all directions. Highlanders. Celts and Vikings. Coming from all directions. Selling their merchandise. You start talking to the traders, what's on their minds. The challenges within their daily supply and demand. And as a traveler, as a wanderer yourself. You know how to bring solutions to this marketplace. Because you have seen other regions of the world that could provide that supply. It can give a supply to this demand. And this is how new ideas and opportunities start to emerge. It will bring you on a new path to venture out in the world. out of your hermit face where you were left in isolation
Thank you for following this guided shamanic journey.